Hello and welcome to the Papare.com's live and exclusive coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2016. You're with me, Ashwin Dias at the Racecourse International Stadium, where we have reached the final day of the Dialogue Champions League 2016 and 17. It's uh, two matches left in the tournament and three teams looking to walk away with the championship trophy. Because a bit of background in today's clash is the first game will be between Blue Star SC Kalutara and Army Sports Club. Blue Star, one of the teams looking for the championship and the equation is simple for them. They have to beat Army today if they are to stand any chance of walking away with the championship and later on kick off the final game of the tournament, a mouth-watering clash between renowned sports club and Colombo FC, who are the defending champions, Colombo FC. And they could have, uh, they could be eliminated from championship contention if Blue Star win their game against Army, which is coming up in 15 or so minutes. And it's a bright sunny day at the Racecourse Stadium. As uh, we wait for both teams to uh, get ready and walk out onto the pitch. Blue Star and Army. Army out Sports Club, one of the best, better teams of the league, but unfortunately this time around they are out of contention for the championship last year. It was a similar situation where three teams could win the tournament on the final day and Army were one of the teams who could have uh, won the trophy last year, but that chance, uh, let they, they let that chance slip by and this time it's up to them to stop Blue Star from picking up the win that will put them in a great position to win the championship and I'm joined in the commentary box by Harshan Joseph. Harshan, uh, a great couple of hours of football up ahead. Yeah, I think uh, after a lot of competitive football it has come down to the wire this time around as well. Three teams once again in contention and uh, like you said, one of the strongest teams, one of the strongest offensive teams in uh, this year's Super 8 phase, unfortunately out of contention, but uh, they can play real spoil sports for Blue Star come this game, which is about to kick off here at the Racecourse International Stadium. Blue Star are aware of what Army can do once they're in full flight, so they'll have to be very composed in defense, and uh, they've, not been the very, they, they've not been very free scoring up front, so there are a few concerns there as well. They've all managed to somehow narrowly win some of their games to put themselves in title contention. But uh, that being said, they'll have to be at top of the, be on top of their game if they are to overcome this free-flowing, free-scoring army team. And both teams are ready to go. And I think uh, it's just a matter of time before the officials lead the way f for this game to be kicked off here. Rider Dialogue Champions League Papandu Taragavali Avasan Maha Taranga Arambakaranda Siala Sudanam Mavanita
first game of this final day in the Dialogue Champions League 2016-17 between Blue Star SC Kaludara and Army Sports Club. Fantastic game of football up ahead. As you can see, the championship trophy which Blue Star will be hoping to walk away with even as they make their way onto the field. Witness this final day, and a lot of people have made their way from Kaludara for this big occasion for Blue Star, where they will try to seal their first Sri Lankan title since 2004. Okay, Jurian Ondachi Mahatata, As, uh, brought onto the field to be introduced to the players. Army today playing a full strength team. They have uh, Kirti Pereira, Bandara right back, Sanka Danushka. As a defensive midfielder, Mohammed Rimzan, Punsara Tiruna, and Madhusan Di Silva. Playing in uh, midfield in front of uh, Sanka Danushka and up front, it's uh, Sajid Kumar and Mohammed Isadin. So, Army have uh, fielded a very in strong three, team. Sri Lanka, possibly their Sanjali. best possible lineup for the day. And uh, Blue Star, on the other hand, out of the country. And, uh, we'll miss this key clash for them. This is a it's part of the Blue Star defense that conceded just two goals in throughout this Super 8 Sudanam stage. And his place Samuha will be taken by Mohamed Imtar, which uh, leaves the team as uh, Manjula Fernando, the skipper in goal. Fahai Rali at left back, Nasir Opeemi. Shivanka at center back, right back will be Mohamed Imtar. Mohamed Irshan and Ido Wuhamid in central Dialogue midfield. Champions League, Altura Blue Star, uh, right and left. Come Sri Lanka, Yudha Hamuda Khanda Am. Up front, Ada Davase, uh, Javin, Supiri Khanda Am. Dega Ada Davase, Colombia, Turanga Tharanga Krida, Pitti Nete, Ati Vishal, Chana Tavak, Prakshikim Pirisak, Adila Tibuna Davasa Kadak, Sayubale, Vasar Dolha Kada, Vedi Kalya Tulu, Papandu Krida, Win Win, Dialogue, Pasal Matam, Jati Ka Matam. Jatyantar Mattam Dakwa Sri Lankiya Papandu Kridav Aragana Yanata Just a reminder Saibale Hamadama dialogue today Labala the Navagapi of walking away with the big prize. Army are already eliminated. And uh, the blue stars fate will depend on the result of the next game as well. But first they need to get the job done themselves and uh, get themselves a win to stand any chance. It's a tough ask, Harshan, to ignore that uh, pressure, that uh, that uncertainty, that even if you win today, it may not be enough. Yeah, I think uh, that is not a very comfortable or a very good position for you to be in uh, going into this penultimate game. But that being said, on the flip side, they have 
an army side which is free, free flowing and free scoring. You know, so they don't have a burden of uh, a title challenge. So they will play with the utmost freedom which has been presented to them. So that, as that too will add to the pressure for Blue Star. So a lot for them to think about. But then again, like you said, their ultimate goal or their priority tonight would be to get the result, to get the three points and then probably hope against hope that you know the result after this game would go their way and they'll uh, be the champions at the end of the night. Just one thing that will be certain is I don't think Blue Star will commit too many men forward despite them needing a win to go into title contention. I think it'll be somewhat similar to the way they set themselves up in the Colombo FC game where they just uh, opted to sit back slightly, put pressure on the opposition midfield whenever they came into their side of the park. But uh, a high pressure game in midfield but uh, more than happy to sit back in defense is what I think I'd expect from Blue Star today. Similar to the game they set up against uh, Colombo FC. Blue Star are the only undefeated team as well so that will give them some confidence. Whereas Army have uh, no pressure, no expectations. They are just here to enjoy themselves and put on a show. Understandably, Blue Star are in a are in a longer huddle. I'm sure, a lot of things have been spoken in and amongst the players. So they would want to bring out their A game into this. Not going to be easy because uh, they're up against one of the most prolific goal-scoring teams in Army. So certainly, they have their work cut out for this evening. Like you said, Dashwin. Any sort of lead they get, they will try to preserve it. They have uh, been stubborn in defense, not really convincing at times, but still they managed to get the job done. So I guess at the end of the day, that's what matters. That certainly will matter today if they manage to pull through with such a result. So it's exactly what they would want to do as Mohamed Izzadine is on the ball, waiting for the referee's whistle to go off. Yes, worth mentioning for all our viewers that Army have scored 12 goals in their last two games, seven of them coming against Solid and five against New Young, so they certainly have the potential to go for the jugular if they do get a lead. As uh, they kick us off, Army in yellow playing from right to left of screen and Blue Star playing from left to right in the traditional blue kit. Kirti Kumara there, launching it forward. Here's uh, Sajit Kumara. Ball goes all the way across to Imtad. It's clearance, nearly coming back to Isadeen. Lovely turn from Channa. Just flick the ball through to Sanjeeva Simon. Here's Hamid, and Hamid will play a big role in this game, I feel. He's uh, Blue Star's chief. Uh, Creative outlet. Here's Jibola. Can't get past uh, Chaturanga Madhushan. First throw of the game, given Army's way. The far side of the pitch is uh, filled with sand. It's not the ideal playing conditions, and we could see some mistakes as here's Ido Muhammad. Just about cut out by Bandara Varakoda. Ball looks like it's just uh, getting stuck in the pitch around that area. Teams will need to be careful, especially with the back passes. Here's Jibola. Cuts it back. Long range attempt there by Imtad. It's coming back at Blue Star. Isadine. Picks out Sanka Danushka. Chip ball over the top. It's going to run out of play. First piece of action for Manjula Fernando. Uh, 
There's the skipper, Madhushan De Silva. Brings it back to Apuhami, Fahi Rali. Brings it down, a bit of miscommunication there. The Blue Star ranks. Results in a throw for Blue Star. Sanjeeva Simon goes across to take. Finds Hamid. Channa tightly marked by Apuhami. Jibola muscles uh, Varaka got off the ball. And uh, the free kick has been given Army's way. Taken quickly. There's Punsara Tiruna who struggled to get into the team a bit this season. Sadin. Goes right across the field to Madhushan De Silva. That's a lovely looking ball from Madhushan De Silva. Desperate defending by Shivanka, but he failed to get a touch. Luckily, there was no one behind him. And Manjula Fernando able to gather. Blue Star looking good at the other end of the field. Channa's cross cut out though. Crucial intervention once again by Shivanka. Here's Rimzan. Punsara Tiruna. Madhusan De Silva. Cross. Naziro Paemi gets the first header. Dropped for Punsara Tiruna, but unable to direct it goalward. Lusta on the ball, Irshan, Sanjeeva Samon, dispossessed and uh, was also fouled in the process, Fahir Ali. Poor pass picked out by Sanka Danushka. Plays it to Madhushan De Silva, running down the edge, Madhushan De Silva, toe poked in at the near post by Mohamed Isadin. And... Uh, a simple goal for Mohamed Isadin running in at the near post to turn home. Madhushan De Silva's cross. And Army had the lead. And the large Blue Star contingent in the crowd completely silent. It was a poor pass from Fahid Ali that allowed the play to develop. Trying to play it to his midfielder. Pass was uh, telegrammed to. Sanka Danushka, who snuck in front and uh, won the ball back for Army and then set Madhushan De Silva on his way. So Blue Star have now a mountain to climb very early on in this game. Now, Army will be more than comfortable to hold the ball back. I'm sure they'll sit back enjoy majority of the position and whenever the opportunity presents itself they'll run at them on the counter they have the pace and they have the quality to do that that being said very very sloppy from blue star clearly not what you'd want coming into such a crucial game the penultimate game of the season you'd want every single pass to be executed to perfection it wasn't the case it was actually a mispass which led up to the goal for Army, so Blue Star will be kicking themselves for loving Army to get in space. That being said, Jibola, for the first time, has posed some sort of threat. Made sure he put a ball across the face of goal, but uh, very comfortably held by the returning Army goalkeeper after suspension. Received a yellow card against Colombo FC. Was suspended for two games, but now he's back. Uh, Resuming duties as a long ball across the face of goal. Madhushan De Silva unable to keep it under his grasp. And it's an easy throw in for Blue Star as uh, Sanjeeva Simon swaps the ball across field. Jibola gives it back to the man. Ido Muhammad had a lot to do on that occasion as uh, Bandara Varakagoda comes out with the ball. Shan, once again, this time of course, 
As you don't pay me now, that is a close call. And it's a penalty. Very, very sloppy on that occasion. Completely uncalled for on that moment of time. And within a blink of an eye, Army have the opportunity to double the lead and possibly bury Blue Star's title challenge, Ashwin. Yes, it's all falling apart for Blue Star. I think Army have figured out that it's uh, very difficult to play those ground passes in the middle of the pitch because the ball is getting stuck in the turf. And because of that, they went for the aerial ball and Nazir Opaemi on that occasion was the only man failed to get the first one clear and has brought down Sajid Kumar for a penalty kick. Mohamed Isadeen to double his tally and the army lead. He's up against Manjula Fernando who will have to save this to keep his team in it. Mohamed Isadeen. Comfortable, cool as you like, a very good penalty kick and Army are 2-0 up in next to no time. Within the first 10 minutes, they've uh, secured a 2-0 lead and if Blue Star aren't careful, this could turn into a rout. Well, you can see Dovu Hamid trying to cheer his team on but I don't think uh, those heads which have already fallen will uh, raise up unless there is a moment of real brilliance now so that Blue Star will actually have a glimmer of hope. This is completely not what they had in mind coming into this game and there's a tactical change. We can see E.B. Channa moving to the left as uh, Jibola has taken position on the right. How much of an impact that will make in this game we are yet to see. There's still a lot of time to play. All Blue Star need is one goal back and they'll start believing in themselves as to whether they'll be able to bring a result out of this. As Isadine lays it off wonderfully. But uh, the resulting through ball was intended for Sajid Kumara but uh, clearly was miles away from him. Harshan, we must remember that Blue Star did come back from two goals down against Navy. So they do have the, the capacity and the willpower to pull themselves back from difficult situations. Here's Jibola. Picks out uh, Sanjeeva Simon. Irshan. To Shivanka, who's uh, kicked it away. Not sure what he was trying to attempt there. But uh, just a goal kick for Army. Yeah, very ambitious from that sort of range. Clearly, I don't think uh, that's what... Uh, the doctor ordered as far as the Blue Star were concerned, but still, it's a very, it's pretty much a hash of an effort, effort uh, towards goal. It's fired Hali, intercepts Sanjeeva Simon. Now uh, it's Shivanka, goes back to Sanjeeva Simon, looking for his numbers. He's surrounded by blue shirts, but somehow manages to find uh, Jibola. Jibola with a lovely inside pass towards Fahid Hali. I beg your pardon, Sanjeeva Simon gets the ball back and he wins a corner off uh, Sanka Danushka. So now Blue Star have an opportunity to... Oh well, it's given as a goal kick. Quite interesting. It seemed very evident that it rolled out of play after taking a touch off Sanka Danushka. But the linesman thought otherwise. So it's a goal kick, much to the disgust of uh, the Blue Star fans. See, Bichana picks up the pieces, tries, again, tries to be really ambitious from that sort of range. Doesn't make any sort of clean connection. Yes, I thought that one was a uh, corner kick for all money. As he has uh, Sajid Kumar, who's offside this time. Again, Army using the lofted ball to get behind the defense. And a change very early on in the game. Mohamed Farzin is being replaced very early on and uh, he's going to be replaced by Mohamed Najim so an extra midfielder coming into the game maybe to try and contain this army midfield and it looks like Jibola will play up front and uh, to be fair to Jibola I think he was struggling on that uh, far side it's very difficult to do what he's doing now run with the ball because it was sticking in the ground which is why he's been changed his position has been changed and this time the corner kick given the first corner of the game uh, 
I think uh, it's fair to say that Mohamed Farzin was already nursing an injury from the previous game. Had a real uh, nasty twist of uh, his right knee and uh, as a result was uh, taken out of uh, the game. Pretty sure he hasn't uh, been 100% since and uh, probably judging by how he has been moving up front, rather laboring. And uh, I think that too had something to do with the decision as again, Nasir Opemi's pass is being picked off. I think this sluggish outfield is not allowing the passes to go at its usual pace. So a lot of uh, passes are being intercepted. As we see Sanjeev Simon picking up the pieces now. Tries to go towards Jibola. Great work by Jibola there. Just unable to find Hamid. But uh, you're right, Tarshan, it's a shocking pitch, to be honest. It's uh, really stifling the style of play and appeals for a penalty not given for handball inside the army box. Much to the disgust of uh, the Blue Star supporters on this near side. Mohamed Irshan gets a warning from the referee. But uh, that's just going to serve as a reminder for Blue Star that they are not completely out of this game. They are patient and disciplined enough in defense. They can find a way back into this game. And uh, judging by the looks of it, it's going to be a long, long throw in right into the box. And Nazir Opemi, as expected, is the intended target, but it's headed away by the number 20. For Army, it's going to be another corner. Pressure mounting on Army, and finally, Blue Star have uh, gotten a stranglehold of this game to a certain extent. They have pinned the Army to their half for the last five or so minutes. There have been a quite a few chances as Jibola is stationing himself wide out in the penalty area. Nasir Opemi with a lovely header across the face of goal, and Shivanka's acrobatic effort is cleared out of danger by Madhushan De Silva. It's another corner for Blue Star, and uh, it does feel like a chance is coming. It did come, but uh, Farzin's effort, I beg your pardon, that's uh, not uh, Mohamed Farzin, he's been uh, substituted. Another effort, uh, this time actually it's uh, the number 16, Mr. Blue Star. Mohamed Irshan's effort just over the target. And Army, I think, now have realized they're up for a fight. Because uh, during the first 10 minutes, it looked as if it's going to be rather one-sided the way things were progressing. But uh, judging by the last five or so minutes, Blue Star are not going to look, go down without a fight. That is the danger once again. We see the ball getting stuck in the pitch as the defense tries to Work the ball for a pass. The safest option is the lob ball forward, I believe. Army are now playing it more than Blue Star. Because the moment you play the ball along the ground, looks like it's getting stuck ever so slightly in the pitch, allowing mm -hmm. the defender to get an eye in. Yes, Fahir Ali. Picks out Sanjeeva Seaman. Lob ball forwards to a Channa cleared away by Bandara Varakagoda. Irshan to deliver the throw. <coughs> Once again, bodies gathering inside the penalty area. It's going to be another long throw in. Nasir Opemi and uh, Ido Hamid both uh, taking position, goes towards Nasir Opemi, cleared away, but uh, Mohamed Irshan will have uh, another shot at it. Jibola somehow manages to get it to Fahir Ali. Uh, that was rather disappointing eventually, but still, they're not afraid to take a few chances here, Blue Star. Throwing bodies forward. They know the risk of being caught on the counter, but still, I think it's all or nothing for them at the moment. 
Pemi heads clear as uh, Sanjeeva Simon just about uh, nicks the ball in front of Roshan Appuhami. And the referee has awarded the free kick for the high boot. Oh, I beg your pardon, it's uh, offside. Kirti Kumara to take this free kick. Goes long. Naziro Pemi gets it away first time. Channa and Jibola. Channa has flicked on for Jibola. Bandara Varakuda gets back and puts the ball out of play. Bandara Varakuda is going to have a long evening dealing with the, the likes of Naziro. Uh, I beg your pardon. From the Jibola, Ido Muhammad gets a gets some space inside the box. Kirti Kumar was completely left wandering on that occasion, but fortunately the angle was against him. So that's a good sign for Blue Star. This will be the first time they got behind the army defense from open play, and. Mohamed Rimzan has gone down but won't require treatment. He's up quickly. Zami have another free kick. Roshan Appuhami. To Madhushan De Silva, Sanka Danushka. Thought about playing the double, didn't, and he's lost the ball. Sanjeeva Simon, poor pass once again. And Madhushan De Silva could be off, but Fahir Ali gets back, makes a crucial intervention. Needs to be careful about the passes he plays here. Here's Rimzan, Sanka Danushka. Acrobatics from both uh, Sajit Kumar and Shivanka. Sajit Kumar brought down by Fahir Ali. And. Uh, Again, looks like he won't need any treatment, but a dangerous position for this free kick. Especially for the left-footed Madhushan De Silva to bend behind the wall and across the face of goal. Shanti Silva, that's a good looking delivery. It's fallen straight for Sajid Kumara, who's blasted home. It wasn't a very, it was a good delivery, but the Blue Star defense didn't get rid of it at the first time of asking. And that could be curtains for Blue Star. The clearance from Shivanka falling straight into the feet of Sajid Kumara, who blasted home. And Army have a 3 0 lead in this first half, and Blue Star need to be careful that uh, they maintain their defensive discipline, or else it could be much worse than uh, the 7 0 defeat that Army inflicted on Solid. Just when you felt like Blue Star were getting back into it, and they had a goal threat looming, another defensive error has completely shattered any sort of chance that uh, was on offer for Blue Star. Clearly, Naziro Pemi's last tackle has made it evident that they're kind of demoralized at the moment. The frustration is getting to them. Very sloppy three goals to concede uh, to be fair it's very unlike the way blues are used to defend uh, during their previous games so clearly the pressure is telling on them it's another loose pass by Fahir Ali now it's uh, Malshan De Silva once again goes across well, Again, very, very poor. It's 4-0. And what is happening at the back for Blue Star? 
is just absolutely catastrophical. It's a comedy of errors. It's 4 0 now. Cross between catastrophic and comical, indeed, as uh, that time I think Manjula Fernando undone again by the pitch. She was expecting the ball to come to him. The ball just dropped dead and bounced straight up instead of coming towards him, which uh, allowed Sajid Kumar the time to uh, get there and flick the ball over him. It's worth remembering, Joe, that the last time these two teams met, that uh, Army ran away 6 0 winners. And they are well on course to repeat that scoreline here at the Racecourse Stadium. 4-0 in the first 25 minutes of this game. Well, they've been completely outfoxed by the outfield, to be fair. I mean, uh, it's no excuse for starters, but uh, you've got to feel for them because Angela Fernando on that previous occasion was like you said, was completely waiting for the pace of the delivery. He was uh, expecting it to be approaching him at a certain pace, but it didn't. Then uh, Sajid Kumar snuck in and managed to find the fourth goal and almost, almost the fifth was uh, coming. If not for the offside flag, that would have been rather interesting because Mohamed Izzuddin was on full f stride running towards that b through ball. Fortunately, there was an offside flag for Blue Star. Dov Hamid forces the error, wins a throw in. Well, it seemed like it has taken a nick off Dov Hamid, so it's a throw in for Army. ball over the top. Sajid Kumara will run onto this. He has uh, the beating of Shivanka for pace. Sajid Kumara cuts it back. Naziro Payemi just about gets rid of it. He's not had his best game to date. Here's uh, Sanjeeva Simon. Plays it to Channa. Najim turns it around. But again, just not uh, enough behind that pass to get it to Jibola. Vashan Apuhami loses position for Army. Here's Sanjeeva Simon. Finally, I think Blue Star will just have to accept the fact that this game is uh, nearly beyond them. They should just try to keep hold of the ball and uh, shut up shop offensively. Play when they can play, but uh, not stretch themselves, or else it could get. Uh, very embarrassing for them. Well, I'm pretty sure now they're not really expecting. Oh, that almost was their way back into that. That was uh, Kirti Kumara, and I for once thought he actually nicked it back to his own goal. But uh, fortunately, it uh, is only a corner for Blue Star. Fonsa Jibola, one of those rare occasions he got behind the defense and uh, put in a very decent cross the face of across uh, across the face of goal but uh, didn't come to nothing as the corner has been held by the goalkeeper yes it was a very good cross by Jibola and a good piece of defending by Kirtikmara as well just about uh, getting it away from his goal while running back he couldn't let that one uh, go past him as there were forwards in the middle waiting to pounce on that cross. And uh, Jibola has failed to keep that one in play. Throwing given Army's way. Chaturanga Madhushan. That one has gone off the army player. Dovu Hamid takes the throw. Najim, back to Naziro Payemi. And uh, Najim can't keep it in play. And uh, Harshan, you must feel for the teams uh, yet to come out to play. 
And I think both Renown and Colombo FC will struggle on this pitch, uh, given what we have seen as both teams do like to keep the ball on the ground. We could see a rather scrappy game of football as Army get forward once again. Isadine tries to flick it on for Madhushan De Silva. I think uh, especially with uh, both teams liking that style of quick passing to play, especially in midfield, I don't think uh, this is the sort of outfield where you could expect them to play that si style of football rather freely, especially with the unpredictable pace of this field. It will be a challenging uh, challenging uh, cause for both teams. I think uh, to our right side, it seems like it's still a very decent uh, f field of football, but uh, towards our left, I think it's uh, really not in good shape whatsoever. That's one of the reasons why the players are being fooled by the pace of it, but they expect that the unpredictability of the field is what's playing through their mind. They don't know what to expect from which side, and then eventually, and unfortunately for Blue Star, it just comes in the shape of a goal for them clinically and uh, Army have benefited through these uh, little errors that uh, have come through the Blue Star ranks. Zero for Amy. Is it through to Channa? Blue Star playing on despite Army having a player down. And uh, they get a corner kick. Roshan Apuham was the man down. Fairharshan, uh, I think Manjula Fernando's goal, that uh, penalty box is the worst affected. Directly in front of the commentary box, the near half of the pitch looks okay. But on the far side, where the benches are, it's pretty poor as Naziro Pemi climbs for that corner kick. They've got it away. It's fallen to Jibola. Goes round Jibola. Shoots over from a tight angle. Goal kick to Army. But once again, just a flash of uh, promise for Blue Star comes to nothing. Here's Jibola on the ball once again. Hamid picks out Sanjeeva Simon. Chip ball over the top. Channa chance to reduce the deficit. And Idovu Hamid has the ball in the back of the net. It's 4-1 here. Good combination between uh, Channa and Hamid there. They have not given this game up yet. Though the work ahead of them seems like a mountain to climb. They've got one back but it's still 4-1. There's a glimmer of hope now. Very slender, but still something for Blue Star to play for. At least now they'll believe the fact that uh, they're capable of breaching this army defense. That being said, their concerns are at the back. The uncertainty of their defense is what has cost them dearly. And their inconsistency is uh, what uh, army have capitalized on. As we see, Punsar Thiruna, lovely combination. Sam Sajid Kumar back to da Sanka Danushka goes wide towards his captain as Sanjeev Simon intercepts on another corner just uh, within a blink of an eye. Army turned it completely around. Yes, Harshan, uh, I won't say the Blue Star goal was against the run of play. They had a few moments just before that as well. But I think defending on the side that they are is the most difficult as uh, certainly I thought on a usual day that clearance from Mohamed Imtad would have skidded off the surface and out to touch. But instead, it stopped very nicely for Madhushan De Silva to control and uh, mount the next wave of attack on the Blue Star goal. As, uh, that corner cleared away by Blue Star comfortably enough. Kirti Kumara. Blue Star get the ball back. Naziropa Emi. 
Dushan tries to flick it on for Hamid. But uh, that one's gone out of play. Free kick given. Blue Stars way, maybe they could have played on. Blue Star did have men forward. You be jumping on the ball. They'll want a quality delivery into the penalty area. Sitting rather deep. Sure. And I think uh, the Blue Star coach wanted uh, Shivanka also to make his presence felt. Surely they have nothing to lose. There's no fault in throwing a few bodies forward. But this is the problem. Once they lose the ball, there's a constant threat of a counter as uh, you know, that uh, <laughs> it's just a moment of uh, real brilliance there by the Blue Star goalkeeper. Anjula, as Jibola tries to feed uh, Ido Uhami through, Marka Goda covers up and uh, his deflected clearance uh, finds touch for a army throw in. I think if Blue Star can find uh, another goal before half time, it could be a very interesting game in the second half. But I think they just have to play the way that they were before that goal, not committing too many men forward, leave the likes of uh, Naziro Pemi and uh, Imtad Fahirali and Shivanka at the back and allow their forwards to remain up front try to get the ball to them. There's another occasion, Channa fix it. Down for Hamid, who's uh, gone up, unfortunately. Not quite on the same wavelength on that occasion. As here Kamami on the counter. Isadin, lovely control. Fahir Ali is getting to him. Isadin, he's cut himself into space. Isadin, what a piece of skill. Isadin, still going and he's lost out. Tried to dribble through the entire defense on that occasion. Mohamed Esadin to complete his hat-trick. That and would have been the goal of uh, the Super 8s for sure had he managed to find the back of the net. But what a moment of brilliance. That being said, the Blue Star crowd have come to life all of a sudden. I think that one goal has made them believe every single time they come forward. Ido Uhami taken down. Kirti Kumara has to be booked because... Uh, had it not been for his challenge, Ida Wuhamid would have been in a threatening position. Yes, uh, the official thinks likewise, and it's a dangerous free kick here for Blue Star. And these are the moments that could change the game. It was nearly 5-1 to Army, and then straight down the other end, it could be 4-2 for Blue Star if they... Can get the ball into the back of the net from this free kick opportunity. E.B. Channa is standing over it. But undoubtedly the play of the first half that uh, run from Mohamed Isadin. As here's Channa with the delivery. He's to want Cheeky. Cheeky going for goal at the near post. Caught the goalkeeper unawares. Everyone was expecting the ball into the box, but uh, E.B. Chan had other ideas going for goal at the near post. And uh, Kumara Sirisen has only just got to it. Shivanka. He can't Good. steer that corner kick into the goal as uh, Blue Star having a few chances of their own after that thrilling piece of play. And what a interesting. Last five minutes it's been. That's, uh, that's what experience can get you. He outsmarted the entire army defense and the army goalkeeper on that occasion. Jibola once again trying to feed it over Hamid. But this time... Ilanka Kumar gets the ball back uh, kindly. I think Army are now feeling the pressure for certain. 
They have uh, been breached once and almost for the second time by a moment of complete brilliance by E.B. Chandra. At times he has been criticized of uh, being rather lackluster, but that of course was just sheer brilliance as uh, Ida Muhammad once again makes a menace of himself and wins a corner for Blue Star. If they could find another goal before half time, it will be certainly game on in the second half. Make no mistake, they will absolutely come marching at them in the second half. Here's Jibola, gets past one, wins a corner once again. Pulling off one of those Igalo scoops there, Jibola, on the edge of the penalty area. Just uh, getting round his defender, going on the outside. And he's going to deliver this corner kick. Delivery is good towards Naziro Pemi, who gets his header, but can't direct it goalwards. It is always a tough ask. And uh, Kumar Sirisena has been warned for time wasting. It's, uh, it's just been a matter of army making uh, their opportunities up front count. Blue Star certainly have had chances of their own. It's a poor pass by Shivanka, cut out. Zero pay me. Can't find uh, Jibola or Hamid. Punsara Tiruna wriggles away. But he's struggling to dribble on that side. Dovu Hamid, this pass uh, cut out, Sanka Danushka just about gets it to Madhushandi Silva. Switches the play to Punsara Tiruna. Goes aerial, but Sajid Kumar was offside. Correct decision on that occasion. It's uh, very easy for us here in the commentary box to see that uh, Sajid Kumar had uh, made his run a fraction of a second too early. It's a poor free kick by Shivanka. As they try to play Isadine in Fahir Ali. He's made an almighty mess of it. And Isadine just uh, a cheeky touch with his hand there. Like uh, Thierry Henry. In that uh, infamous game against Ireland. As, uh, here's Ido Hamid. Great pressure. Ido Hamid. Channa is free in the middle. Can he find him? He's picked out uh, Irshan. Thundering effort from Najim, and it's still not clear. And they just about get rid of it. Here's Isadine. Naziro Pemi is uh, in opposition territory, chasing the ball. Punsara Tiruna now. Great pass to Sanka Danushka. Sanka Danushka lays it on for Madhushandi Silva to chase. Fahir Ali gets back and makes a crucial intervention. Once again, the sluggish pitch, this time around, coming to the aid of Blue Star. Had it not been for that, the ball would have easily reached uh, Madhushan De Silva. And uh, well, for once, Blue Star riding a bit of luck. But that being said, they have to be careful because Army can absolutely punish you on the counter. Now, the situation is such that there will be so many opportunities for them to launch counter attacks. So they have to really be careful as to how they hold their shape once they go. All out in offense. Poor defending by Varka Goda. It's let Channa in. Channa. Can he find uh, Hamid? Ibi Channa. It's held on to it for too long. But here's Jibola. Jibola still. Shoots over. But I thought Channa needed to release the ball to Idobu Hamid. He held it on for too Held it up for too long. Allowed the army defense to get back. And in the end, uh, the chance had gone by the time Jibola took his shot. But uh, Blue Star still refusing to give up. Saratiruna trying to flick it on. He's uh, lost the ball. Ido Muhammad, Afonja Jibola. 
Bola goes cross field. Roshan Apuhami hasn't uh, got, got it. Uh, Sanjeeva Simon showed too much of it to Apuhami. Great ball forward from uh, Shivanka, but just too much for Udoguhami to chase down. Goal kick army. We are approaching half time. And uh, looks like we may have just one minute of it at a time. Here's Imtad, chases it down. Lovely control there. And again by Irshan. That's where Blue Star have made the mistake, trying to play the ball out in a dangerous midfield position and to rub salt in their wounds. The, the free kick has been given Army's way. And Nazirio Pemi is going to be warned by Referee Raj Krishna, his final warning by the looks of it. And this break in play just taking a bit of the sting of the game out as it's been played at a or the breakneck pace. Sajid Kumar, the man on the receiving end of that uh, hard tackle from Naziro Payami. Punsara Tiruna tries to find Madhushan De Silva. He's uh, got it down in the box, Madhushan De Silva. Poor pass to Sanka Danushka. Gave him too much to do. Here's Roshan Apuhami. Rimzan. Madhushan De Silva brings it down. Tries to get it past uh, Fahir Ali, unable to do so. Fahir Ali comes away with the ball. It's getting a bit feisty here. And a shove from uh, Roshan Apuhami. That's un not needed at all. Roshan Apuhami goes into the book. Sanjeeva Simon, the man who clashed with him there. And that's the second army player to enter the book. And uh, we have official confirmation that just one minute of added time is to be played at the end of this first half. Ball has run through to Hamid, brought down by Varaka Goda. Both army center backs now in the book. And another free kick. Three of the four defenders are in the book right now. So, if Blue Star managed to find an equal, I, I beg your pardon, a second goal. And uh, they carry the momentum into the second half. But uh, that army defense will be under a certain amount of pressure. Up against uh, Fonda Jibola and uh, E.B. Channa. It's not going to be easy. Not to forget, Harshan, that uh, it does look like that uh, Army will be defending on the more difficult side of the pitch in the second half. Just from the way that uh, we have seen the pitch behave. The magic spray being used by Referee Raj Krishna as Ido Mohammed to deliver in the free kick. Uh, it's gone all the way as uh, Nanta Kumara just about gathers the ball. And uh, referee Prashant Raj Krishna brings to end the first half. It's been a thrilling contest here at the Racecourse Stadium. Army racing away to a three goal lead courtesy of uh, an early Mohammed Isadeen goal. Isadine then doubled his tally after, from the spot kick after Nazir Opemi brought down Sajid Kumara. Sajid Kumara then scored a brace of his own, scoring from a failed uh, 
capitalizing on a mistake by Nazir Opemi after he failed to get rid of a free kick. Blasting home from inside the six yard box. And then doubled his tally to make it 4 0 to Army. Blue Star did find a slight foothold to pull themselves back from when uh, E.B. Chanda flicked the ball over the defense line for Ido Hamid to score. And it's 4 1 at halftime. A thrilling game of football. Do join us again in 15 minutes, live and exclusive on thepapere.com of our live coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2016-17. The Recap, your daily sports update. Wherever you are, tune in to thepapare.com at 6.30pm on the dot and be updated on what happened around you. Technique, tactics, attack, defense, pattern. Back to the board, the rugby analysis. shop for Sri Lankan rugby. A tradition uninterrupted since 1879. Pride, prestige and the DS Senanayaka shield at stake. Royal College versus St. Thomas's College. A rivalry like no other. The 138th Battle of the Blues 9th, 10th and 11th of March Live on thepapare.com Hope-centric yoga. I'm your host, Hope. Thanks 
for watching. Do subscribe to thepopery.com. Special thanks to Body Bar for the location and I from Sri Lanka for the video production. Follow me on Instagram at featherpalm underscore fox. The Hero Cup second ODI between Sri Lanka and Australia. Australia leading the series 1-0. The news is that Angelo Matthews has won the toss. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. The Recap, your daily sports update. Wherever you are, tune in to thepapare.com at 6.30pm on the dot and be updated on what happened around you. Technique, tactics, attack, defense, pattern. Back to the board, the rugby analysis. shop for Sri Lankan rugby. A tradition uninterrupted since 1879. Pride, prestige and the DS Senanayaka shield at stake. Royal College versus St. Thomas's College. A rivalry like no other. The 138th Battle of the Blues 9th, 10th and 11th of March Live on thepapare.com Hi, welcome to Hope Centric Yoga. I'm your host, Hope.
watching, do subscribe to thepopmarie.com. Special thanks to Body Bar for the location and iPhone Sri Lanka for the video production. Follow me on Instagram at featherpalm underscore fox. The Hero Cup second ODI between Sri Lanka and Australia. Australia leading the series 1-0. The news is that Angelo Matthews has won the toss. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. Hello and welcome back to the Papilla.com's Lion exclusive coverage of the Dialogue Champions League 2016. We are back at the Racecourse Stadium for the second half of this clash between Army Sports Club and Blue Star Sports Club Kaludara. Army in the ascendancy in the first half, racing away to a four goal lead within the first 25 minutes. Blue Star did find a way back through Idobu Hamid, but uh, they still have a mountain to climb if they are to put themselves in contention for the championship. They need four goals at the very least in this second half. But uh, they did show some promising signs towards the end of the first half. They made a few good moves of their own and uh, nearly pulled it back to 4-2. But for the moment, they are three goals behind and have a mountain to climb in this second half. And uh, joining me in the box is Harshan Joseph. Harshan, Blue Star. Do you think uh, they are out of this uh, tournament already though? You feel like it's a mountain to climb because it's uh, four goals at least if they are to pose any sort of a title threat, leave alone the game. And uh, that being said, it depends on how soon they can find that second goal that will probably set the tone for the remainder of the half. If that comes within the first five to six minutes, then things will actually take an interesting turn in the game. Army have been vulnerable at the back. They've had a few jitters, but they've been fortunate enough to scrape past those just with one casualty. But that being said, now they're defending at the worst side of the playing field. Now the doubts will creep in. Now the indecisions will make come to play. So now it will probably favor Blue Star better if they could play positive football. And also not to forget, Arshan, that three of their four defenders, as you mentioned in the first half, are on yellow cards. That's uh, Kirti Kumar, Roshan Apuhami and Bandara Varkagoda. In that order, entered uh, referee Raj Krishna's book. As E.B. Chan stands over the ball, ready to kick things off for the second half. Here come Blue Star, right to left, off screen as uh, Fire Ali takes a tumble early on in the game. 
almost uh, comically lands on his backside as here come Blue Star. Trying to pick out uh, Ido Hamid there, unable to do so. Here's Sanka Danushka. Dribbling through midfield, finds Isadin. Isadin goes for the first time toe poke. Manjula Fernando up to the task, one of the easier saves he'll make this evening. He set Sanjeeva Seaman on his way. Here's Ido Hamid. Chip ball over the top for Jibola. Jibola cuts inside. Jibola still on it. Great turn by Jibola, but uh, he's struggling to run with it. And he's been brought down at the edge of the box by Roshana Puhami. Surely that's his last warning. It was clumsy defending by the army left back, who's already on a booking. And certainly he's walking the tightrope now for the remaining 40 plus minutes of this game. Chibola, who won the free kick, will now deliver it. And as you rightly said, Harshan, if they can find a goal in the first five or ten minutes, it could be a very interesting second half. Roshan Apuham would have had his heart in his mouth for a minute. Once he heard the referee's whistle, because uh, he knew it was a challenge he made in a very dangerous position, slightly outside of uh, the penalty area. But uh, like you said, that is his last warning. Surely he can ill afford another one. Has turned another home! It's turned home at the near post. Jibola's free kick has been turned home by Mohamed Najim, the substitute who came on for Mohamed Farzin, has surely brought Blue Star back into this game. And what a game we have here at the Raceco Stadium. I don't want to jinx anything, Harshan, but on the last day of last year's Dialogue Champions League, the first game finished 5-4. With the team in contention ultimately coming out on top, could we be in for another thriller here at the Raceco Stadium? Surely now Blue Star will believe they will now fancy this. All they have to do is to make sure they keep their head straight. Here's Punsara Tiruna trying to lay it off to Sajid Kumar in decision, but Fahir Ali manages to get that crucial touch. Here's Roshan Apuhami, loose touch. Jibola lays it off. Now this is uh, the goal scorer. I beg your pardon, that's uh, not uh, the goal scorer, that's Mohamed Imtad. Well, there's a bit of pushing and shoving going on. The referee says, just get on with it. The free kick has been awarded. No need to do anything cynical. Fahir Ali will surely hail this into the final third of uh, the army defensive half. This is turning into a real classic here. One more goal. Surely, surely it's Blue Stars' momentum going forward. That being said, that's a really, really poor free kick. Completely giving it away and Mohamed Izzedin, fortunately on that occasion for Blue Star, has been flagged offside. Yes, Blue Star, I think they just need to be a bit more patient. The momentum is uh, in their favour. Sanjeeva Simon played it through for Ido Hamid, he's flicked it down for Jibola. Jibola just about holds it up against uh, Varaka Goda, but he's lost it now. Kept it in, oh, and no, he hasn't. Throw in for Army. It's 4 2. This early goal for Blue Star setting up the game very nicely. The second half, crunching tackle from Fai Rally. The throw in given Blue Star's way. I think the ball had uh, already made its way out before Fai Rally made his challenge. Which is why uh, I think uh, the referee didn't uh, take into account uh, Fahir Ali's challenge. It was completely legitimate, by the way, just that uh, it was rather two-footed. Here's Sajid Kumara, well held by Manjula Fernando. I'm sure they are feeling confident defending this side of the field. Well, the keeper came out on a real tour. Fortunately, he got the touch through 
But once again, Ido Hamid and uh, Ibichana linking up. Too close to the keeper there, Ibichana. But uh, good piece of skill by the veteran. Mushan Puhami being hunted down. He's released Madhushan De Silva. Too much on that ball. He'll run through to Fahir Ali. Here come Blue Star again, and that's a terrible pass. Lucia shouldn't uh, get carried away with the momentum. They should uh, realize the fact that if they keep their composure, all they have to do is play the way they have so far, and they know uh, what it takes to breach uh, this army defense. Well, rather dramatic fall. Uh, referee may play on rightfully because the ball was with uh, the army player. And again, uh, the clearance uh, was clattered into Sajid Kumara and was comfortably held by uh, Angelo Fernando. Sadi Kumara really coming out real short uh, in that occasion. Offside given once again against Mohamed Izzedin. Very marginal, but still I believe it was the right decision. Sanjeeva Simon once again gets the ball back. Now goes back to Jibola. Doesn't, uh, doesn't manage to keep the ball in his grasp. Given away. Now it's Roshan Apuhami. Mohamed Izzedin, uh, loose pass uh, once again. I think he intended to put the ball out of play, but still it uh, clattered through to Sanjeeva Simon and Manjula Fernando doing the right thing. As soon as he got the ball back, he kicked it out of play as uh, the referee is asking for some assistance from the bench. Sajid Kumar is down after that clearance uh, was slammed into his midriff. It's just winded, I think. But uh, Blue Star opting to play on that far side where it is difficult to move the ball around. And you can see, by the way, that they are struggling to put their passes together, that it is having a detrimental effect on their play. It's, uh, Sajid Kumar, uh, referee is asking for a stretcher to take him off the pitch. I think he's trying to eliminate the possible waste of time because of this injury. If the player is not able to continue, I think it's the right thing to do to take him out of the playing field and give him some uh, assistance or attention. It's clearly, he doesn't seem to be in any sort of position to continue. Sorry, Kumara. So I think it's better if he is taken out of the playing field. And, uh, I'm pretty sure now the army bench is considering a possible swap Considering uh, Sajid Kumara's situation. Yes, I see Thivanka Chandra Sekara warming up on the touchline. Strong forward will pose a different type of threat. He has uh, three goals to his name in a very limited amount of appearances in this Super 8 stage. So he will be confident coming on. Yazid Hamid flicks it on for Jibola. Jibola goes back to Hamid, but uh, Kirti Kumara is there to make the crucial intervention. Here Shivanka picks out Channa. Lovely pass by Channa to uh, Mohammed Irshan. Irshan can't get enough behind that cross as uh, Nilanta Kumara was expecting. That ball across the face of goal and had no problems in uh, catching it when it came. Punsara Tiruna. Sajit Kumar is offside. Didn't see him return to the pitch, but he looks okay. Shivankar to take this free kick. Blue Star need another goal sometime within the next uh, 10 minutes or so. If they are to complete a miraculous comeback. They have a throw in on this near side. Imtad takes to Irshan. Zero Pemi plays it forward. 
Sanka Danushka flicks it on for Isadine. Down from Adushanti Silva. Loses it. Uh, among a body. Uh, sea of uh, Blue Star players. Jibola triples his way out of trouble. He's still on the ball. Jibola just can't thread it through to Hamid. Jibola's back to make a nuisance of himself. Robbing uh, Sanka Danushka of the ball. He's still going. Jibola is still going. Jibola he's got himself out of another mess. And surely the referee is going to blow up for a free kick. Excellent centre forwards play. He has taken three, four men out of the equation on that occasion and still managed to keep the ball at his grasp until that uh, flying tackle came his way. But still, what brilliant uh, piece of play. So we see a substitution being prepared. It's, uh, it's for the soldiers uh, as uh, it looks like it's a double substitution. Yes, sir. Uh Looks like Punsara Tiruna is the man who's uh, going off. Replacing him is uh, Mohamed Fazil. I beg your pardon, that's Asiku Rahuman. Long ball played towards the far post. Uh, Nazir Opimi heads down, but no one there to pick up the pieces. So uh, midfielder replaced by a defender shows uh, Army's intentions for the remainder of this second half. Now, now Jibola has come to the left. He is absolutely brimming with confidence right now. He's willing to take on any challenge thrown his way. Such is uh, the momentum that uh, Blue Star carry at the moment. Again, he's one on one. Uh, he's just making a real mockery out of this defense. He's taken two men once again out of the equation. The ball back uh, to the goal scorer. Yes, Jibola still finds the ball at his feet. He's still going. Uh, it takes something of that nature to eliminate his threat. Three men it took to take the ball off his feet, and still it's a blue star throw in. It's probably going to be a long throw into the box. Fantastic hold up play by Jibola. Worth mentioning that he has a bad hamstring injury as well. And uh, you can see it's uh, severely taped up. Irshan with the throw. Gone all the way through. Sanjeeva Simon. Shivanka. Idobu Hamid. Goal kick. Goal kick to Army. I think uh, Sanjeev Asibon's first touch didn't allow him to take the shot. I think he was the favourite to trouble the goalkeeper on that occasion. Having had a very loose first touch, he had to go for the second option, which is to go for the pass for the man near side. But I don't think uh, Ido Hamid was in any sort of position to take on a shot from that area. Yes, he was in a really good position, was uh, Sanjeev Asibon, but just his touch letting him down on that occasion. There's Army now trying to take the sting out of the game, using up as much time as they possibly can with these uh, throw ins and free kicks. So that's Madhushan De Silva who's been hacked down. And a yellow card. I beg your pardon, Sajid Kumar is the man who's uh, been brought down. Unclear as to who was, uh, who went into the book on that occasion. It's one of uh, Fahir Ali or Sanjeeva Simon. Asiko Rahman over the ball, plays it short. They've caught uh, Blue Star off their guard, but uh, Dobu Hamid completes the clearance. It's gone through to Jibola. Jibola, that's not the pass he was looking for to release uh, E.B. Chan on goal. 
Uh, that will run through to Kumara Sirisena. We'll pick up and uh, bowl it out to Chaturanga Madhusan. His pass uh, intercepted by Naziro Payemi. Through to Channa. <coughs> Paraka Goda gets across. Rimzan hooks it long. Isadin. Isadin's through on goal. Fahir Ali is up with him as well. Isadin still on the ball. Isadin. Played it through surely. 5 2 to Army. And that is possibly the final nail in the Blue Star coffin. The skipper. Netting the fifth goal, his first of the evening. And the Blue Stars come back cut short by that fifth goal from this Army team, but credit to Blue Star, they didn't give up even when four goals down. But surely now that uh, will signal the end of their championship uh, hopes. I think uh, that was the sucker punch. I think they had a glimmer of hope after getting that early second goal. They kept pushing, like you said, real credit to them. They played with a lot of heart. But uh, like I mentioned time and time again, that army counter-attack, you're always bound to become vulnerable at the back once you start pushing that many bodies forward as Blue Star have uh, in attempts to rescue this game and rescue their title bid. Sankar Danushka nearly threads through Rimzan on that occasion. Sajid Kumar stays on his feet. And uh, this time he goes down under the tackle of Naziro Bayemi. Referee wants that free kick taken from the correct position. Well, I think uh, Blue Star have possibly now realized that it's uh, beyond their reach. You can see some of the heads dropping. They're going through certain motions right now. As Sajid Kumar is lining up this free kick, he's going directly on to goal and, uh, well, Manjula, Manjula Fernando. Always had his eyes on the ball with that sort of range. I think uh, it's always favorite to hold on to it as uh, the floodlights are slowly coming on. This is uh, just the first of uh, the double headers. As uh, you know, Hamid has been uh, bullied by one of the substitutes. There's an apologetic uh, hand shown by uh, Bandar Varakagoda. Doubt that will uh, make a very little of a difference. That's a beautiful turn by Ibi Channa. Here's Ido Hamid, but uh, absolutely bullied forward uh, by the number 24, the substitute for Army. That's Asiku Rahman. Now, surely, Army will know. They only have to make sure that they hold their lines f fairly decently and uh, they'll come up with, uh, well, they'll end their campaign on a high. Sure, they had title aspirations themselves, but it didn't go according to plan. But uh, they've uh, finished on an absolute rampage, a real goal fest by the soldiers during the latter part of uh, their Super 8 campaign. A 
think the reaction of the Blue Star fans at the moment uh, pretty much sums up the feelings of the Blue Star bench as well. It's uh, nearly dead silent. Here's Jibola though, trying to bring them back uh, into play once again. And he's fouled by Chaturanga Madhushan. I thought he got the ball on that occasion, Madhushan. But it's uh, easy for us to say from up here, the bird's eye view. And uh, far more difficult for our referee Raj Krishna on the pitch. But another free kick for Blue Star. They converted the free kick they got just after half time. And uh, Jibola to deliver this one. Can they maybe score another consolation goal? Jibola cleared away at the first, first post. Here's uh, Jibola now weighing up his options. That's a poor pass. Sadin gets to the front of him. Sanka Danushka now weighing up his options. Stolen from him by Naziro Payemi. Najim to Jibola. Jibola cuts inside. Jibola still. Shoots with his left, but uh, well off target. No problem whatsoever for Niranta Kumara. It's a rather demoralizing effort on goal. Probably sums up uh, their attitude towards uh, the remainder of this game. Probably acrobatic uh, interception there. Here's Asiku Rahman. Goes long, looking for Mohamed Izzadeen. No flag. He brings it down. Puts it across the face, a goal. But Sajid Kumara, I think, Fahid Ali did enough uh, to make sure he didn't get that telling touch. As the ball trickles past uh, for a goal kick, short goal kick to Shivanka. Shivanka goes by to Sanjeeva Simon, gets the ball back. Once again, it's Shivanka on the ball. Ido Hamid playing wide now. Loose touch, hands the ball back. Two blue star. Ido Hamid once again intercepted. Mandar Varaka good on that occasion, but still blue star managed to regain position. Again, indecision in the middle. And uh, this could be, well, Mohamed Izzadeen for a man of his quality, ran it rather wide, but eventually got a shot right across the face of goal. And uh, all, that, all those troubles eventually came to nothing. There's a bit of uh, an argument going on in the middle. Uh, Shivanka and uh, Sanka Danushka are summoned by the referee. A lot of words being spoken by uh, Shivanka, pointing towards the fourth official possibly, or the linesman if I'm not mistaken. But still the referee asks him to get on with it, not to get carried away with the emotions. Long ball looking forward towards Mohamed Izzadeen. Well, prevents it from going out for a goal kick and he keeps it in play. Lovely bit of play. Oh, Sajid Kumara with a flying header. But good save on his uh, near post on that occasion by Manjula Fernando. Lots happening, Ashwin. Yes, all of that uh, down to the fact that Izzadeen, despite his team being 5 2 up, refused to give up that. Uh, Ball first doing exceptionally well to keep it in play from the outline and then but from the sideline as the corner kick is uh, delivered but comes to nothing as uh, Jibola gets the ball away. Let's go Rahuman. Loses out as the ball is cleared forward for Kirti Kumara. Cup as army rebuild again. Setting run on the outside. But the cross straight through to Manjula Fernando. Long ball over the top. A bit of indecision there by Varagoda. In the end, picked out the right decision. 
Going for Roshan Apuhami. Sanka Danushka loses out though. Here come Blue Star again. Chibola to Channa. Can't your pardon, that was uh, Najim to Channa. Yes, here's Sajid Kumara. Oh, he's fired his shot into Isadine, who was offside. So, a real double whammy there. For Blue Star. For Army, I beg your pardon. And here come Blue Star again, Idobu Hamid. Run through to Jibola, off on to Jibola. To E.B. Channa. Can't get round his man. He's uh, gone down rather dramatically. Referee's buy not buying it. Channa has stayed down and uh, Isadine has stayed on side as uh, he tries to complete his hat-trick. Mohamed Isadine! That's a poor finish. That is a poor finish. He was not uh, looking for Sajid Kumar. I beg your pardon, Madhushan Silva. He was looking for the goal. And he made a complete mess of this finish as the game is really opening up at the moment. Blue Star not uh, defending with uh, any sort of conviction. Yeah, he probably given up uh, on this particular fixture as. Uh, the last goal that Army scored probably shattered all their hopes of a, a dream comeback. So now I think uh, that sort of attitude is what is reflecting on how hapless they've been in defense. And uh, Army, having sensed that, trying to capitalize on it to make sure this is an absolute hammering if it's not already. The score line reads 5-2 in favor of the soldiers. Any one, any more which they could add to their tally would uh, completely give out uh, a different complexion as to what sort of game this has actually been. Would not really look like uh, Blue Star stood a chance, whereas uh, in reality, they actually came back into this game in a rather spirited manner. They didn't give up uh, being 4-0 down. Credit to them, but uh, that fifth uh, army goal surely sealed it for the soldiers as Ido Hamid tries to latch on to a half chance, a volley, if you could say that, but completely got underneath his shot and uh, skied it. Always difficult uh, to control that one and get it goal, but he was stretching and the ball was dropping. And perfectly understandable that he misses that one as uh, Kirti Kumara recovers in time to get the ball clear. And is supported well by Roshan Apuhami as Hami put the ball out for a throw in. Taken quickly. To Hamid can't bring it down. Ball drops and spins and is hammered into the body of uh, that's Mohamed Irshan just under 15 minutes of play left in regular time so Imtad there, getting stuck with that pass. Here's Channa, back to Shivanka. Plays it back to Channa. Idobu Hamid, lovely ball to Channa, surely. Good save by Kumara Sirisena, but Channa made his work easier by going for the near post. Thought the shot set itself up to be buried at the far post. Here's Jibola. Still in possession. Has Shivanka for support. Ops for Najim. And uh, that is a bit over ambitious by Mohamed Irshan. Set up for him by Nazir Obahemi.
And uh, on the back of your screens, I'm sure you'd notice the Colombo FC players are making their way in their training outfits towards uh, or slightly behind the Blue Star dugout as uh, Malshan De Silva once again had an opportunity to make it 6 2. But uh, Skydy's effort, I'm sure they have had an eye on this game and how, he has, how it has transpired. More importantly, how this outfield has played throughout this game. They'll know they'll have to ad adapt quite soon. As uh, we see another opportunity, goes a begging once again. Tried to go onto his near post, but uh, Mohamed Rimzan wasn't successful on that occasion. Again, Chanda wanted the ball to be played a bit early, wasn't to be the case. Swings the ball back across s with very little direction on it. However, Sanjeev Simon eventually picks up the pieces looking for Ido Hamid. Not finding him, still picked up by the Blue Star players. Now it's Shivanka. Uh, he was looking for E.B. Chanda, but uh, couldn't find him. Sajit Kumar trying to pick out Madhushanda Silva. Can't keep the ball in play. It's gone out for a Blue Star throw in. Bola lets it run and it's cut out. Ami Rimzan was interested, but ball wasn't uh, hit square enough for him. Here's Shivanka. Dovahamid goes to Ibi Channa. Shivanka back to Najim. Sanjeeva C. Montejibola goes round, puts a cross in. And a crucial touch by Kirti Kumara guides the ball to Nilant Kumara Sirisena as uh, Shivanka is in a very advanced position and uh, doesn't seem to be in any hurry to get back. Luckily for him, Naziru Payemi experienced head and uh, he just puts the ball out to touch no one in support Madhushanti Silva cross has uh, too much on it he'll run out for throw in on this uh, near side here's Najim E.B. Channa not amused uh, by that ball played to him. He's put a lot into this game as E.B. Channa. Here's Shivanka now. He's uh, looking for Channa. He'll turn. Can he get his cross in? Looks up. See Shivanka in support. Kirti Kumara deals with the danger, fires it uh, as far as he possibly can. Manjula Fernando will come out. Get the ball to Nazir Obayemi. Here's Imtad. Here's Jibola. Chibola picks out Najim. Back to Nazir Obemi. This ball to Jibola just about kept inside by the energetic blue star winger. Imtad down for Shivanka. Doesn't look like uh, Army are going to concede another goal. Blue Star just look a bit labored in possession, trying to break this uh, defense down. 
Ibichanna. Plays it to Najim. Too much on that cross for Naziro Bayemi to make any telling contact. After so much of uh, heated action for most of the first uh, 70 minutes, this game is just uh, wiltering out to a uh, timid finish as Blue Star. They've left all they possibly can on this pitch and they still find themselves 5-2 down as here comes Mohamed Isadeen. This time a crucial touch from Imtad takes it away from him. Blue Star enjoying most of position at the moment but unable to really convert that into anything more lack of communication there as uh, do start trying to play offside Manjula Fernando has to come out a long way from his goal to clear that one takes it off the boot of Isadeen Zero Pemi. Pass along the line to Sanjeeva Simon. Cuts it back in. Umad Najim still fighting. Sajid Kumara. Can't get past. Hido Muhammad there. Tracking back in defense. There's a chance for Madhushan De Silva and it's turned into his own net by Shivanka. It's been that sort of a night for Blue Star. An own goal by Shivanka. As uh, Blue Star look very demoralized as they have been for the past uh, 10 or so minutes if the scoreline does stay as it is uh, it looks like job michael will end up the highest goal scorer as well he's currently on 17 goals Mohamed Isadin in second place with 15 and uh, to be honest uh, Isadin really could have even taken the lead the amount of chances he got after scoring those first two here's Imtad I think it, uh, it has been a typical Mohammed Izzedin uh, game, has, hasn't it, uh, Ashwin? He, uh, he gets so many opportunities, he creates so many opportunities for him and for his team and out of those, a small quantity, a small portion of it, he puts it through. But then again, Shivanka on that early occasion denying Izzedin an easiest of uh, chances. Now here's Izzedin this time. Shivanka gets that tackle in. Now Madhushan De Silva. This time Izzedin, surely not. He misses it again. Firing it well over. Getting into some of the best positions a forward could think of. He reads that game really well. But somehow the finishing lacking in this match. Still a very important player for Army just because of his understanding of the game. He's Always in the right position, ready to make the right run. Has such a good uh, connection with the likes of uh, Sanka Danushka. 
Sachit Kumar and Madhushan De Silva. But just sometimes his finishing is below par as it has been for this second half. Ashwin, I don't know if you had uh, realized that even when the ball goes out, it's uh, Manjula Fernando who is uh, pleading for the ball to be given to him from the ball boys. He still wants to continue play. The captain must be a heartbroken man. He has uh, somehow kept his side together in a very rough period for Blue Star. Now we do Hamid taking his chance uh, from just outside the box, firing it over. And uh, Naziro Pemi is down. And looks like it's going to require some treatment. Nearing full time, what has been uh, another classic Dialogue Champions League game. It would have been a different ball game had uh, Blue Star been able to score, take those opportunities uh, later on in that uh, first half. One from E.B. Channa. Which uh, narrowly missed the near post. It will be interesting to see how Renown and Columbia FC approach their next match, which will kick off at 7.15 p.m. live on the papara.com. Free kick given Blue Stars as here comes uh, Bandara Varakagoda. And seeing a goal himself on this uh, afternoon, he set up Sajit Kumar, though. Who has the ball in the back of the net, but is offside. Here's Nasir Amy. Out Irshan, Najim, Irshan tries to pick out Channa, unable to do so as uh, Idobu Hamid. Trying to play that one two with Najim. Read well by the Blue Star defense. I mean, now just a matter of minutes. Here comes Asigur Rahman. Thought about a shot, uh, cheeky back heel, but he said in offside by the time he decided to play that. Sajid Kumara is also down by the blues by the army bench. He's up on his feet now. Madhushan De Silva picks out Isadin. One touch for Sikur Rahman. Plays through Rimzan, who's uh, managed to stay on side. Picks it up, uh, cross into the far post. Uh, Madhushan De Silva and Isadin. He was offside, though. Would have been a spectacular goal if uh, Madhushan De Silva had been able to put that in the back of the net. And uh, two minutes of added time 
to be played at the end of the second half. Uh, Nilanta Kumar uh, have run down all two minutes had uh, Muhammad not gone towards him. Army's final three games they have uh, entered 18 goals, an incredible number. But uh, unfortunately for them, their losses to Colombo FC. And uh, the reversal of their result to Renown have uh, left them out of contention. Here's Madhushan De Silva. Too much on that turn goal. Virgis Adin completes his hat trick. Make that 19 goals for Army in their last three games. And 16 for Mohamed Isadin in this dialogue Champions League 2016-17. Manjula Fernando looks a dejected figure in the Blue Star goal. Bundled home by Sadin. And I'm sure the Blue Star players just can't wait to get back to the dressing room. They look a dejected bunch. Come so close to achieving their dream of uh, winning the title. But uh, it's all gone away from them now. Yes, E.B. Chan, though. Time for another goal. Yes. E.B. Chan. Scores another consolation. And it's turning into a bit of a goal fest. Ten goals. It's the most amount of goals in a single game. In this uh, Dialogue Champions League, this edition of the Dialogue Champions League. Z.B. Chan adds his name to the score sheet. Surely no time left for another. As yes, two goals in extra time. As referee Prasant Rajakrishna brings to an end this first game of the Dialogue Champions League 2017 finale. Army running out. Uh, runaway winner 7-3. But Blue Star were in it. For a while after clawing their way back to 4-2. After conceding 4 in the first 25 minutes. But Army once again just easing the pressure. Putting their foot on the accelerator. Took the game away from Blue Star. And have won 7-3. An incredible scoreline. To eliminate Blue Star from the championship uh, race. And do join us in approximately 20 minutes for the next game, Colombo FC versus Renown. Where Colombo FC need to win to retain their championship. While for Renown, a draw will be enough to secure the title. This is me, Ashwin Dias, and it's been a great pleasure bringing to you live and exclusive coverage of this Dialogue Champions League fixture. Do join us again in 20 minutes for the next game as we continue our live coverage from the Racecourse Stadium.
The Recap, your daily sports update. Wherever you are, tune in to thepapare.com at 6.30 p.m. on the dot and be updated on what happened around you. Techni